Welcome to YouTube. This is your boy Share Speaks, and I just want to get, I just want to shine a little light on this uh, little beef between Soldier Frog, <coughs> I'm sorry, Soldier Boy, <laughs> and Chris Brown. Now, this whole thing started allegedly because Soldier Boy, I guess, was talking. You know, you know, so we all know how Soldier Boy is. He talks reckless on Instagram and all these other social media platforms to start beefs with people. You know, to make headlines, to make himself seem more relevant. And he picked the wrong one, in my opinion. He picked with Chris Brown. Now, we all know who Chris Brown is. He doesn't hold his fucking tongue. The motherfucker tells you how it is, how he feels, and then some. As you heard him in his Instagram videos, he's done. He doesn't do the jaw jack shit, like Soldier Boy. And um, he's ready to hit him in the ring. He kind of, he, he mentioned Adrian Broner. Hey, bro, set up the boxing ring so I can whoop this nigga's ass. He's still going to whoop his ass no matter who's behind him or not. And I respect that about Chris Brown. I really do. You know, respect for you, bro. And, um, Soldier Boy, listen, bro, you just need to stop thinking that you can whoop everybody's ass. You know, I, I get it, man. You're trying to stay relevant and stay with the times. I get it, but there's, there's ways of doing that, you know. Make your crappy-ass mixtapes and do that, all right? Be ignorant on reality TV, even. Fucking shit. Like, damn. You can't always start fights with people and then, you know, be a bitch and back out, you know, because you've done this repeatedly. The fact that no one's come at you come at your ass physically surprises the fuck out of me. And I mean, as far as, like, the celeb world goes. But I think in this time, I think Chris Brown actually is going to come for your ass. So be just be prepared to, just, so just be prepared to, for those repercussions for you talking reckless on social media. You know, because, I mean, eventually you know, everyone's luck runs out when it comes to talking shit. <laughs> and I think he's done just that for real. I really do. So, uh, bro, soldier boy. Put your hands up, bro. Because you're going to have to do this shit. Because we all know how Chris Brown is. <laughs> and as far as you, you know, trying to act like you don't fight some fucking body in, in a fucking head, nigga, you might want to realize something, man. Not everybody is going to go all soft on your ass just because you're a celebrity. Because, you know, you had a big ass entourage behind you. You know, you think, you know, they, you keep saying that people on Chris's tour bus is pumping his head up and you call them and shit, nigga. It looks like you were projecting because it seems like people on your. And your camp was pumping your head up, nigga. <laughs> That's exactly what it seems like. Now, unfortunately, people, other people have, have been dragging this as well. Those two other people I'm talking about have to be Karuchi Tran and Rihanna. Rihanna has some words to say to say for Chris, and I quote, Chris, you need to stop talking about disrespecting Karuchi on, on the gram, you know, talking reckless about her, and also stop being so damn impulsive. Karuchi Tran's friends even commented saying that Chris feels entitled to Kay's body parts because he took her on lavish vacations and bought her cars and stuff. And, you know, and I can understand that because, you know, Chris, you, you do have a tendency to do that. It doesn't mean I'm, does not mean I'm going against you, bro, but you do need to, you know, watch out for that stuff. You know, you know, chill on that stuff. You know, let her be happy. If you really loved her, let her be happy. But again, back to you, Soldier Fraud. You need to stop doing, stop with that bullshit, bro. Stop. Stop trolling people. Stop trying to get into fights with people because we know you ain't gonna do shit but flex on the gram. You know, the social media platforms. <laughs> we know how you are, bro. This is not 2007. This is not 2008. This is not 2009 and so forth. Alright? Your time for relevancy as far as music goes is done. Like I said earlier, man, make your crappy ass mixtapes and be done with you know, Chris, you know, make your great music, you know, make people happy to see you, bro. Like, make your music, do what you got to do, business-wise and music-wise, all right? Do that, stick to that, you know, stop entertaining this bullshit like this, man, because you're only, you know, you're only proving a point to the powers that be. That. So, do what you got to do, bro, on both ends. But I am, but I am curious to see if this fight will happen, though. If it is, shit, my money's on Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is your boy Shay Sweets. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you guys think about this video and my other videos. Make sure you guys subscribe and you know, and then so if you have any suggestions on what you guys want me to review or whatever, put that in the comment section below as well. I love y'all, man.